Past Lives, it's a story that's so extraordinary, many still have trouble believing it. But we're going to let you judge for yourself. When Christian was one year old, he saw our neighborhood kids playing baseball and became so fascinated that he wore a baseball uniform every day. He would play inside of the house, he would throw balls at the wall. First time I started playing baseball, it just felt really natural. We are not a baseball family, so it really was very odd. He was three years old and throwing and catching a ball like an eight-year-old. I took Christian to see a professional baseball game. We were walking through the stadium in Boston and he saw this big picture of Babe Ruth. I don't like Babe Ruth. He got so upset saying, I don't like him, he was mean to me. That's when I had an inkling that something was going on. I started to look into the internet, into the idea of reincarnation and children, and I took photographs from Babe Ruth's era and said, do you see anyone here that doesn't like Babe Ruth? And he immediately pointed to a player with dimples. He said, that's me. And the man who he pointed to was Lou Gehrig. To have him say these things, it was actually very disturbing, and I was concerned. As time went by, he continued to say things, but the one thing that really got me, I was in an elevator with him, and he said, when I was a tall baseball player, I used to stay in hotels almost every night. And I said, did you fly on airplanes? And he said, no, oh, mostly trains. And he'd never been on a train or played with a train, so it was really, really odd to me. And when he was about six years old, we went to Lou Gehrig's grave. He said, mommy, God gave me a new brain now. It's hard for me to remember. It was as if it faded away like a dream. I'm not really thinking about it anymore. Now I'm focusing on my life and playing baseball. It's not like we go through our lives thinking that he was Lou Gehrig. We're very much just living a normal life. But when he does want to talk about it, I just wanted him to know as a mother that I was listening and that I was acknowledging what he had to say. Christian joins us along with his mother, Kathy. And this is so fascinating and First of all, you're a pretty good baseball player, aren't you? Yeah. Comes pretty naturally? Yeah. Is baseball your favorite sport? Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? A baseball player for the Dodgers. Nice, Dodgers News! As a mom, I cannot even fathom trying to put this together in your brain when your child is telling you these things. Yeah, it has been quite a journey. And when Christian first started sharing these stories with us with very specific memories of things that turned out to be historically accurate and they were things that we could have never known, he could have never known, that I didn't even know, I had to look it up on the computer, um, I didn't believe in reincarnation, right? It wasn't something that was part of my belief system. So it really was quite a journey to figure it out. You know, to be honest with you, in, the, in my book, book that I wrote, I recently wrote a book called The Boy Who Knew Too Much, and I don't really come to that conclusion. I really just provide the evidentiary moments, what occurred in our life, and I kind of leave it up to the reader to, to interpret it because some, what came through the most was evidence that our souls survive this earthly existence and that love can surpass one lifetime. And you didn't, you didn't really know who Lou Gehrig was, right? Uh, you know, and your husband didn't? You no, know, my husband's from Germany. Um, ironically, from the same town that Lou so Gehrig here is from. from. So, <laughs> So yeah. not a baseball player. No, a tennis some, player. I think, if nothing else, it just forces us to think right. outside of ourselves. And yeah. this power in the universe, who knows? You can't explain everything that happens. And I'm really also happy that you brought this book. And you have a surprise, I understand, for our audience. I do. So each member of the audience is going to get a free copy of the book. <laughs> Of all the things that happened to you when you were young, you're living your own life now. We can't wait to follow along. Good luck with everything you do in this world, my friend. We'll be right back. Coming up.